What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. You're going to see his players alternating between different, like, let's say a short step and then a longer step to properly get into the position where he can kick the ball for either a pass or shot or just a, a ball control. And that just makes things look and feel more like football. Motion is more fluid because players in real life, they adjust their cadence. They look at the ball with this new uh, machine learning technology that we have in the game in FIFA 22. Can you... 4,000 new animations added to the game. And just to give you an idea, that's three times more animations than we added last year. Intensity, the athleticism, the physicality uh, of professional players. And this results in, in a huge improvement in player motion. So this is a fundamental leap forward in the way players move and, and act and behave in the, on the field. So it's, it's individual actions, such as a player switching the ball from one side of the field to the other, doing that type of lofted pass. Just, uh, it, it's, it's quite unique just to see that motion play out and, and follow the ball as it's flying through the air. So these kind of moments in the game really make the game. However, here is more not necessarily about the personality, it's just about knowing how you need to get to the ball. So when you put all the systems together, then yes, better sense of how to shield, how to position their body so it can, you can get away from the defender. For all 22 players on the pitch, this starts from the attacking side of things. Now on the attack, each of these players can have up to six times more decisions per second than ever before. So now the attacking runs are much more intelligent and also the build-up play and the, the chance creation, the players make much more supported runs, which improves the level of tactics. So now the defensive side of the positioning team do more zonal marking and defend as a unit. Um, it, it looks like a real game on when you're watching it on TV. Like teams nowadays play very tactical, very structured for me. Don't get out of position, even when we're playing together, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the most important thing. That's what I noticed in FIFA 22. Like you see the, the teams defensively, they move together. As the ball moves from one side of the field to the other, the defense moves together. I really want the team to work together and be more zonal and, and, and defend as a unit. So, so yeah, now your example shows the defensive rewrite of the system. Um, you can see the back four working um, is it in, a, in a unit and as a zonal marking to really work together from when the ball switches from one side of the pitch to the other side, they shift together as a team. In the attacking tactics, you can set your tactics in both chance creation and build up play, which in other words means that if you have the ball in your defensive half of the pitch, you can set your tactics to play one way, possession football, for example, but then when you play in the attacking side of the pitch, you can change to completely different tactics. So gives the user and everyone more control. So now when the ball's in the air, you see the differences where two players are synced together. So the visuals of two players going up for the header. So when they collide, it actually looks really natural the way they stumble or fall after that collision. It's not like each other. This is like two players really going up and battling for the ball. So two players could be running direction, the other guy in the opposite direction. But the, the point is that they go up together. You're going to feel that physicality now. That's the key. These animations are longer and they have multiple touches, which allows you to bring down a ball off the chest and onto your foot in one fluid motion. So with the longer animations, you're able to, you're gonna take that quick touch off your thigh or off your chest, turn fluidly with that second touch into, into the direction that you wanna go in. Look at the very start of this clip, you can see um, a multi-touch drop his thigh, it, it lands nicely in front of him to then move forward. And yeah, that, that part of, to me. Um, so one touch off the chest, setting it up for one touch on with the on FIFA, you see that the best... Just for the best shot or the best pass. It's all about the first touch. Like when you coached as a kid or up until whatever level, you're getting the ball out of your feet, one, two touches, and then you're away. Communicating all the time. I'm saying man on, go here, time. Every second during a game, communicating, talking, just gesturing to each other, saying like, hey, I was free for a pass. Why didn't you pass it to me? Or look, I'm going to go into this space, pass it to me there or players are talking, communicating, asking for the ball, and they actually move a little bit to provide you with better support. Uh, but it's all about this uh, objective of making players more human. And it's animation so much because they are playing for an immersive experience. The career mode guys, for example, for these small pieces of animations that just create a more... And the other thing you'll notice about this clip is the way Haaland runs. We have a star-specific locomotion for uh, Erling Haaland. He is a big time player. He's a young superstar and a bit of a hunch in, in his posture and big strides. So 
to represent that power and uniqueness of his running style, we've got his his uh, his running style in the mm-hmm. game. They don't hinder responsiveness. You can do whatever you want on the controller. These are just layers on top. And also to add a little about the game and play it a little bit differently, because because now I might see a player off the ball calling for the ball. I'm like, oh, maybe I should like think about it. as well as making smarter decisions in vital moments in the game. This is this is cool. But when the the ball went to the goalkeeper, he did a completely new animation. I, it just stood out because I'm so used to, as a core player, I'm so used to the regular animations until FIFA 21. And then the first time he came out, I was like, wait, what, what's he doing? It was really stood out. That's yeah, cool. of course. Refresh how the keeper looks, as Gabe was saying. So Yeah, and it's not just the animations, right? The tech we're using to, yeah. you know, to play back those animations. Like, oh my God, that was so much more fluid than, than last year's game. Yeah, even just the small details. So, not only the full body animation of the goalkeeper flying through the air, but the way his head is tracking the ball as it flies into the net. Kante, across the field. So you kind of notice these these new ways to kick the ball, and, and that's all coming from that 11v11 competitive uh, motion capture shoot that we did. We're calling this feature Full Team Authentic Motion because it's all about all those little bits of animation that we're sprinkling into the game, thousands and thousands of it, and it just brings the characters more to life. How the ball moves. So we are changing parameters like the friction on the ground, the friction with the air, just how the ball uh, spins, the speed of the ball, and that how the ball moves is a lot more authentic. And you notice that right away to switch the field. The hang time of the ball is now more obvious and really so satisfying to do one of those uh, love passes across the field. That's so a different way that is more authentic. And then when the player is receiving the ball, those new long animations play and that changes the experience completely. Yeah, they don't slow down as much now, right? So you can pass the ball, turn, pass the ball, turn. You're not like waiting for it to get to you. So that just improves and get by him with a with a quick acceleration. Then you, you press that sprint button, um, you get the benefit. All right, that's it for the Spotlight series. For more information, check out ea.com and make sure to follow EA on Twitter. And you won't want to miss EA Play Live at 10 a.m. PST on July 22nd for more about FIFA 22. I've been Amit Katwala from Wired and this has been Spotlight. Thank you so much for watching.